thought we just pulled into our next stand. First one was blank. I really thought we'd get something on that first one, but the wind picked up and it's, I don't know, 15, 20 mile an hour. And we were gonna go sit up on this west fence line of this property and get way up high. Uh, but changing plans, I'm gonna go drop down over these terraces, set up the collar. Then there's a little patch of uh, CRP foxtail. We're gonna set right up in that, kind of up on the ridge, overlooking the bottom. Hopefully they'll come along the river or creek or whatever, and funnel up through. It could happen quick, so we'll be prepared and see how this stand goes. Probably one of the best coyotes I've shot all year. He's got thick fur all the way through. On guard here is good color. Great looking coyote. The wind was a little bit stronger than what we were anticipating or what the weather man had said. We knew it happened quick though, and uh, and it did. We knew that they could just get right up on us. We wouldn't see him coming, and that's what happened. He was standing in that corner and must have popped out right when I was switching sounds, looking down at the remote. But there's something to be said about, about predator hunting. If, if you can get out and, and manage your predators in the winter time, it, it is crucial to the rest of the wildlife on your farm. When we were walking out here, we were cutting raccoon tracks, pheasants, turkeys, deer, and in all those mix of tracks, there's coyotes mixed in, and those deer and all those other animals are gonna stress a lot if you got more predation. So get out, exercise it, have fun with it. Wildest Dreams TV is brought to you by Dermaseed, Stay Outdoors, and Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on.